join us. Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back to another action figure review. Just fresh in at Kessel Run here and Collectibles, where I work. Uh, Zeb, Garazeb Aurelios, the uh, deluxe version. This is a. Uh, Really been looking forward to, to these ones starting to hit, and it looks like most people in most parts of the world are starting to see Zeb show up. Um, Kanan and Ezra, not too far away, I don't think, which is exciting. This is all in the lead up to The Ghost, releasing later in the year, the HasLab, which is damn exciting. I still need to pay for the damn thing. Uh, <laughs> they'll worry about that later. Yeah, not sure whether this needed... The deluxe style packaging, I think it could have fit on a card. The fact that the uh, the HasLab version of Zeb, which is slightly different, is going to fit on a card. This one probably could have too, much like the uh, recent Django Fett. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. I, I can deal. I can deal. Because I'm going to put the rubbish in the bin anyway. Recycling, because it's cardboard. So Zeb on the front. So yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit of a bummer, I think, you know, especially with these deluxe releases, I think it would be cool to dedicate, at least fill some of the, the number gaps they've made mistakes on, you know, there's been a couple where they've they've missed, missed the numbers in the line. Um, it'd be cool to designate them to some, some of these deluxe boys, but uh, that being said, let's bust it open and have a look at Zeb. Alright folks, here is Gareth Zeb Aurelius out of the packaging as always. We take a quick look at the packaging, we go over the accessories, the paint applications, the articulation, and then we do a little peg test at the end just to make sure the pegs are working nicely. So yeah, we're going to take a look at his bow rifle. Um, so yeah, we get two versions of it, which is cool. I was kind of expecting him to just do a scaled down version of the Black Series one, which, you know, it's one, but it can sort of fold up and do what it needs to do. So I'm kind of glad they went this way. Um, you know, this one... Looks like it may peg onto his back. Yes, it will. So he's got, you can sort of see the four pegs there on the side. I'm just gonna lay them down. So you can put it either way. But yeah, that's how he can use it as a handle, the trigger, and use it as, as a firearm, basically. We'll take a look at that shortly. I just wanna see how this sits, sort of sits on him. So yeah, that's cool, that fits in nicely. It's a nice snug fit. Looks good on the figure. So that's that's nice, I, I, I appreciate that. And I think the same will go for this one here. I've got the pegs, you better put it on the back. Like that. But yeah, with this one, this is obviously his sort of melee style. It's all sort of flipped open, folded open. He does sort of twist open. And then we get the uh, the laser parts, the sort of ignited sparky ends. So they fit on nicely. Don't, they're not going to fall off. If you, if you play with it too much, it's going to fall off. That's with most things though, isn't it? <laughs> so it looks nice. I like the I like the wraps around it. It looks good. So yeah, that's it for accessories, which doesn't really need anything else. So I think with a deluxe, maybe could have done with a little bit more. Maybe a, maybe a secondary head, but that's okay. So here he is. Very, very nice. And looking forward to a. A good three and three quarter inch version for a very, very long time. We cast back to 2014. This is the uh, the original animated version, which I've always liked. I've always enjoyed that, but yeah, having having a slightly more realistic version, still a little bit of an animated touch. So that's cool. I'll bring him back after for a comparison. But um, yeah, the paint apps are nice and clean throughout. He's got some markings there on his shoulder and chest plate. I like the sort of the scratches, the nicks and chunks and stuff taking out of his armor there. 
Sabine's done some artwork on the side there for him, just a bit of customization, which is cool. I love seeing that sort of stuff throughout the throughout the Ghost Crew. And sort of see the markings on his on his head. The fur on his arms is sculpted beautifully, really, really nice. And the sort of the tiger print stripes down his arms are really nice too. I like the I like the the way they've brought in the yellow of the of the flight suit. I always thought, you know, animated look at the animated one, it's like, yeah, how do they translate that to live action? Um and yeah, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's, it's it's looking pretty good. The belt and all the the little details on the belt are nice. Ran on the arms there. These little knuckle dusters. His little communicator com link there on that arm. Down to the legs again. The fur is sculpted beautifully. And the lines, sort of the tiger stripes. I don't know what else to call them. Lassart stripes, I suppose. Um, they look really nice too. Just the eyes painted really nice. I'm sort of happy with them giving him a little bit of a stoic expression like this. Um, it's a nice sort of standard. I think the one that's coming with the ghost is going to have a slightly different look to him, a little bit more of a growl. So you need to change the two. So that'll be good. So articulation wise, he does have the double barbell. In the neck, so one ball joint in the head, one in the neck. Good range of movement there. With the ball hinge in the shoulders there. And I like that this sort of shoulder armor sort of tucks underneath the collar armor there. And we have a hinge in the elbow, so again, good range of movement there. We've got a swivel at the wrist and a in and out hinge. We have the same on the other arm, but with a up and down hinge. He's got a torso joint there, which allows for some good movement. Got the ball and socket in the thighs. Got the swivel at the thighs too. Got the knee joint. And then looks like what we've got down here is a nice big old ankle joint. So you get the ankles really down. So it's a real sort of crouching position. And I dare say that'll have that rocker joint in the foot as well, which is really nice. So I'm looking forward to playing with this guy, posing him up a little bit. But for now, I just want to see how he holds his... So I think this is the one I'm going to display him with. It's a bit of an action pose. So yeah, he looks good. So again, sometimes when I do reviews, I will do a comparison. But we did get a quick look at him before. I remember getting this guy quite early back in the back in the Rebels days. He came in a two pack. I remember finding him quite early. And that was that was a pretty exciting time. I was a you know the figures were a little bit to be desired just because they were you know five POA Hasbro really sort of changing the way they were doing things then. Um, I'm glad we're back here. This is where it's at, folks. But I'll always have a nice... I'll always have a place for my animated Rebels figures. It's because I love that series so damn much. <laughs> it's good. And yeah, I forgot Peg Test. So we've got here the uh, KR stand. We have these at Kessel Run here in Collectibles. So I'm excited to see how Zeb... Locks on to these stands. Now what I'm noticing is the peg holes aren't super deep. Which is always a little bit of a bummer. But it's almost all the way on there. The beauty with these stands is they're 3D printed. So you can you know, take a little bit of sandpaper and take that down a little bit if you really wanted to. otherwise you know what that's on there pretty damn good it's a little bit of lift there there's a tiny little gap between the foot and the base there we 
have Mr. Garazeb Aurelius. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this pretty new figure. I'm, I'm really thrilled. I'm going to be mucking around with him at my desk for the next few days, I think. <laughs> He's great. I've been really looking forward to this one. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, any feedback. Drop, drop a double down below and we'll catch you for another one real soon. Until then, may the force be with you, always.